We often hear of bullying in our schools, but rarely see such a vicious case on camera. This video has divided a community in Florida. After this girl attacked a fellow middle school student in Jacksonville, a judge had seen enough. He banned the attacker from all the public schools in the area, and some are applauding his decision. But others say to really treat the problem of bullying, you need to address what's causing that person to be so angry. Tonight, CBS 4's Suzanne McCarroll talks to a young man who says a principal and a teacher helped him change his ways. I lived um, up a block up there on Grape. This was Bo Burbis's childhood park. He spent hours here, but the memories aren't all good. I basically got in a fight with them. Cops followed me to my house down the street. And that's when I pretty much got hit with an assault charge. Bo was 12 years old at the time. Looking back, he says he was a classic bully. I wanted to be recognized. So when I was a bully, I felt like I was getting attention and people were looking at me. Along the way, a school principal and an English teacher helped Bo focus on what was triggering his anger and how better to refocus it. He joined the Marines after high school and is now in college in Denver. No one wants to hear the bully story because it sounds like you want to make yourself the victim when everyone knows you're the bully. The bulk of people definitely want to recognize the victim and it makes sense because they're the ones who are getting hurt. But the source of the problem starts with the kid who's bullying. Gabriella Von Ray has written a book and come up with a three-step plan to stop bullying by focusing in large part on the bully in addition to the victim. But it could be simply because they're acting out because of fear and other self-esteem issues that the bully and the victim have absolutely in common. Social media has allowed bullying to go from neighborhood parks to the internet. Even the simplest childhood angst can now be viewed immediately online. Bo is convinced if a principal aspects. and a teacher hadn't One stepped for, into for his life, what started in this park could have led him down a very dangerous path. I don't think I can honestly say I'm sitting here in college and ex-military right now if I didn't have that help. In Denver, Suzanne McCarroll, CBS 4 News. Bo says he's interested in going into education to help other kids choose the right path in life.